way to the radio station. And uh, why am I getting my car washed at 5 a.m.? Well, I'll tell you in just a minute. But, um, you know, this business with Mike Johnson, uh, which I'm going to cover this morning on the radio. I'm going to lead with Mike Johnson, Marjorie Taylor Greene and Mike Johnson, the Ukraine funding of Mike Johnson. And last weekend, President Trump had an event at Mar-a-Lago. Okay, here we go. Car wash. Yes, yes, yes. 4.55 a.m. car wash. President Trump had... Uh, this event at Mar-a-Lago with Mike Johnson last weekend, Mike Johnson endorsed President Trump and President Trump said a lot of good things about Mike Johnson. So there's this whole narrative that they're trying to create. Remember, they're, they're always trying to create some type of narrative to turn people against Trump. And what they're uh, trying to do with with Mike Johnson, Marjorie Taylor Greene, and Trump is divide MAGA. They tried to do this with Ron DeSantis, and it failed. But um, I'm going to get into the story when I go on the air in the next live stream about Ukraine and uh, Mike Johnson. But Ukraine funding is a zero go. In fact, Ukraine should be funding us at this point. We've given them so much money. And um, Mike Johnson supporting funding of, of Ukraine is a no, no, no. Um, you know, the whole Ukraine war is a fake war. It's a war that the permanent Washington class brought to us to pay off the military industrial complex because the 20 year war in Afghanistan, can you believe we had young men and women in combat units in Afghanistan that were born after 9-11. So we had America's longest war, the 20 year war in Afghanistan ends, and then like almost the next day, uh, they start this war in Ukraine. So we all know what's going on in Ukraine, right? It's a payoff to the military industrial complex donors and crooked politicians like Biden are getting a cut. So Mike Johnson supporting uh, Ukraine funding, there is no support of that of any kind. And Marjorie Taylor Greene, like President Trump, both are always right. And don't just assume because President Trump did this event with Mike Johnson that he approves of everything Johnson does. It's a brush, a brushless car wash. I know it's loud, isn't it? Um, so I'm going to cover that and get into the details of why he did that. And also, there is a big, big new release from James O'Keefe and his new organization involving Biden, which I'm going to cover as well. But don't let them get into the get you into this narrative of criticizing Trump because Trump had this event with Mike Johnson. Mike Johnson is betraying us with Ukraine funding. That doesn't mean that uh, Trump was wrong at that particular time. So. Don't let them trick you into that. Believe me, that's what they want to do. They want to get MAGA people out there criticizing Donald Trump. And I'll tell you, that will never happen with me. I know it will never happen with uh, real, true MAGA people. We are with President Trump always, right? Now, the reason I'm at the car wash at 4.55 in the a.m., um, some birds decided to give my my car a bath. So uh, I didn't have to sit on there all morning. So I came, I, I had to get gas anyway. So I went through the car wash here at the gas station. The whole top of the car was covered in uh, bird dew. That's why I'm here. I don't usually go to the car wash at 4.55 in the morning. But, you know, one of the things... Um, one of the things that they always do in the Never Trumper Uniparty movement is, all right, that's it. I'm going to get out of the car and check and make sure that it got it off. If it didn't, it didn't, but it would have been a waste of money. These brushless car washes are not cheap. And there's these very questionable people walking around the, uh, the gas station. 
No. I shouldn't be getting to the car at the gas station at uh, this hour of the morning, but let me just check. Hold on, guys. Yes, it did. It got it all off the car. Hey. Let me see if I could turn the camera around. That won't let me turn it around for some reason. But it was completely covered. <laughs> I mean, completely. But it's not now, thankfully so. So, just to sum this up, never fall for these traps that they have of trying to get this MAGA division going on. Um, just, bec uh, uh, just because Mike Johnson uh, was at an event and had a very good speech and some agreement with President Trump at Mar-a-Lago does not mean that President Trump signs off on everything this guy does from now and until the end of time. And what Mike Johnson did uh, is doing with this Ukraine funding, uh, believe me, President Trump does not support that. Um, Marjorie Taylor Greene, I haven't heard President Trump come out and criticize Marjor uh, uh, Marjorie Taylor Greene, have you? No. So don't fall for that. Marjorie Taylor Greene is very loyal to Trump. I don't think she does very much at all at a level like this without having conversations with President Trump. And I think most of you would agree with that too. All right. Um, so no, no, not going to fall for it. It's so important for us in the MAGA movement to be very firm and united behind Trump through all of this stuff. You know, this election is an election that's just not the most important election any of us have ever voted in. This is an election that will not only decide whether or not America as we know it will be saved, but it'll also be a decision on whether or not we're going to save Western civilization because it is being wiped out right now. Now, not just the United States, but Western civilization by Biden and these evil forces, you know, and that's, that's just the way of it. There's no, there's no getting around it. If they turn, if, if, if the Democrats were to win this election, and I don't think they are, I'm not concerned about it. I'm very confident in Trump's victory. <clears throat> but if the Democrats were to win, they would take that as a mandate a mandate that what they're doing is where the people want to go and they would quadruple down on everything they're doing to destroy this great country, the United States. That's it. I mean, you know, the, the, never has there been a more clear time with this radical revolutionary cloward pivot strategy being employed by the Marxists that are running this country right now. They're, they're trying to collapse the system of this country by overwhelming our justice system, our border patrol, and everything else. Okay? And then when everything collapses, that's when they move into the Clower Piven strategy is very simple. Glenn Beck's talked about it for years, and it is to overwhelm the system so that it collapses. And when it collapses, they come in and get everything they want disguised as trying to save everything. It's total BS. And the Cloward Piven strategy is, is in full force right now, trying to bring down America. And without America, Western civilization's done. So, no. <clears throat> no, we're not going to stand for Mike Johnson sending one penny to Ukraine. It just can't be allowed. He's got to go. You know, one of the things you got to ask yourself, is it worth getting a Democrat speaker for the next few months? If that's what happened. I mean, Mike Johnson, I think about it. They're actually talking about Mike Johnson getting Democrats to vote for him to stay as speaker. What would that entail? What would that mean? You know, if he if they're talking about Mike Johnson getting Democrats to support him so he can remain speaker, that means they've already done it. They've already made some deals with Democrats to vote for him as speaker. What does that say about him? What does that say about what he'll do as speaker in these next few months before the November election. It means he's going to do things that the Democrats want him to do. And I got news for you. There's not one thing that the Democrats want done or support 
that I support, and I think you all agree with me on that, if you are a Trump supporter, if you're MAGA. Now, if you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe, all right? Please subscribe. You'll enjoy my content. I'll be live in less than an hour on my next stream, taking live calls. And, um, of course, if you're already subscribed, please like the video uh, because that helps me a lot. And, of course, all of my content is sponsored by MyPillow.com. With my promo code Kane at checkout, K-A-N-E, at MyPillow.com, you can save up to 80% off of top MyPillow products. Right now, the $25 Spring extravaganza is going on. Top my pillow products uh, for twenty five dollars. That uh, the prices are just blowing blowing me away at how low they are. So this is a time to really load up. The twenty five dollars spring spectacular continues with my promo code Kane and check out K A N E. And this special twenty five dollar extravaganza will end without notice. So you want to go there and load up. And remember. When you use my promo code Kane at checkout, K-A-N-E, you're supporting my YouTube channel, my podcast, the radio show, all of my uh, content. And, of course, you're supporting the great Mike Lindell. So that's promo code Kane, K-A-N-E, at checkout at MyPillow.com. All right, guys, I will see you in less than an hour taking your calls on the next stream. Thanks for watching.